Tira says that it's time to face the music. Uh, Tira, what's going on? Well, I met this guy. We've been talking for six months. We yes. met on Tag. There's something like Tinder. You know, singles get on there and you meet people. Okay. And we hit it off as soon as we met each other. You know, everything was going good. We started hanging out. He started buying shoes for my son for school, you know, helping out for his birthday, oh. getting presents for him and giving yeah. me money for gas so I could run places. And everything's been going good. But I just feel like he's not wanting to be dedicated into this relationship like I want to. So you, okay, so you really want him to be exclusively yours, but he doesn't seem to be that serious yet. No. I mean, he's being nice to you, but he also wants, well, you think he's sleeping with other women as well? Yeah, I have my doubts. Yeah. Why do you think he's cheating on you? Well, uh, I went, we was having fun one night, and I, he left his phone, he went to sleep, and he left his phone open. Oh. So I seen all these messages. Oh, I you see... wouldn't look at his phone. That's not appropriate. <laughs> I did. You looked at his phone, mm -hmm. and you I saw all his these phone messages. And I oh. seen all these messages of girls texting him, just saying that, sending pictures to him, nude pictures. Nude pictures. Yes, nude, pi nude I pictures. Don't, I don't believe that. Let me see that. <laughs> oh. Sending, sending nude pictures. Yeah. You know him saying, "I can't wait for you to be mine one day." Yeah. And like, you look good. You know, I love you. Telling these girls that he loves oh. them. So I. I ended up taking a couple numbers out of his phone to call these girls myself. And saying, back off. Yeah. So I ended up calling one of the girls, and she actually linked up with me. Oh. And we went to his house, and I was over there beating on his door. He has cameras all around his house. Yeah. So I know he know we was there. Yeah. And he claimed he was asleep, but I know he wasn't asleep. So you were banging on his banging door. Banging on his door. And I finally, was banging he on... let you out. <laughs> <laughs> I was... No. Okay, so yeah, yeah. I was banging on the, the girl yeah. linked up with me and I was banging on his window. He wouldn't answer. We was out there like half the night. He wouldn't answer at all. So I was like, okay, so I'm gonna start throwing rocks at his cameras. So I started throwing rocks at his cameras. I slashed his tires. Holy and... cow. <laughs> you're you're a stalker. No. Yeah. Okay, who's Hazel? Hazel is his attendant. She rents from him. Oh, oh, she's, yeah. oh, I see. She's a yes. tenant in his apartment. Yes. So what happened with Hazel? Well, one day I was over there hanging out at his house, and yeah. I was like, I got to go run some errands, you know, clean up my house, go grocery shopping, yeah. get some done for my house. So I was like, I'll be back in an hour. He's like, okay, cool, I'll be here. Yeah. So after that hour rolls by, I come back, and he's nowhere to be found. Oh. Nowhere to be found. I'm calling oh. his phone. Oh. He's ignoring my calls. He's ignoring oh, my yeah. text messages, not answering. Oh. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to give it about 20 minutes. Maybe he ran to the store to get some yeah. cigarettes. In the meantime, were you gathering rocks? No. <laughs> no, not this time. Not this time. Okay. <laughs> not this time. Okay. But he doesn't come back, so now what? So, 20 minutes roll by, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna just go right around the block and see, you know, if I can see him anywhere, if he's somewhere, you know, collecting rent or anything. Yeah. But it wasn't the first, so I know, you know, he wasn't out running around collecting rent. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. I, I rode by his one of his attendants' house because I know where she lives because he dropped off a guy to fix her gutters. They were working on her house. Yes. And I know, you know, a person rents from him from there. But yeah. I didn't know she... So I popped up over there. I seen his car over there. Oh, so that's the clue. And the tires were already okay. Yes. Right. No, but he fixed them already by then. Yeah. So I already had the keys to his house, the keys to his car. So Ooh. I'm able... I unlocked the door, you know. I started his car, rolled the window down, turned the music up. It was like some Boosie or something. And I was like, come outside, come outside. Honking her like... <laughs> come outside, come outside. <laughs> Nobody, nobody answered that door. Nobody was not making no sounds or nothing. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go up there and knock on the door. Yeah. So I went up there and knocked on the door. Yes. She comes to the door. She's just sitting there with a Ooh, blank look. Hazel? Hazel. Hazel comes to the door with a blank look, just staring at me like, not saying, I'm like, where's Jimmy? Where's Jimmy? Where's Jimmy? So she's like, just looking at me, don't say nothing. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get off her property, go sit back in this car. I'm yeah. gonna wait here until y'all come outside because I wanted her to come outside, but she wouldn't. I was no. like, come outside. No. Like, what are you hiding? Why, why you ain't coming outside? Well, because she doesn't want to be beaten up. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, why don't, why don't you come outside and meet the tire slasher? <laughs> Why would I wouldn't come outside, but okay. So she didn't come outside. So she didn't come outside. 20 minutes rolled by. He ends up coming outside. Oh. 
And I'm Everything like, happens in 20 minute intervals. Okay. Yes. So she, he now comes outside, finally realizing now, there's no way around this. Yes. He comes outside and he said, Oh, I wasn't doing nothing. I was just stopping through. You know, I was just stopping through to see what they was doing. And I was about to leave and go take care of some business. Just yeah. stopping in and saying hi. I said, Well, it ain't the first. Like, why are you over here communicating with this girl? Just stopping through, seeing what she's doing. It ain't the first. You ain't getting no money from her, you know? Yeah. What are you over here for? And he's like, I was just stopping through. I'm like, okay, well, tell her to come outside. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, she's not on none of that stuff. She's, yeah. she's not on what you're on, you know? She, yeah. she ain't gonna come outside. So I was like, okay, cool, cool. <laughs> so, uh, so you're here because? I wanna know why she didn't come outside. Why couldn't she woman up and talk to me like a woman, you know? Yeah. That's what I want to know. Yeah, Why she, couldn't you come outside and talk to me like a woman? Like she, Probably because she wanted to live. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good reason, Jerry. Well, That's a good anyway, reason. she's here now, so you can have your polite conversation. <laughs> Here's Hazel. said what? I know I'm a hoe, Jerry. You know you're a hoe? I know I'm a hoe. Oh. <laughs> well, let's go old... on to the next subject then. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, so you don't deny sleeping with her boyfriend? Nope. Slept with him last week. <laughs> Jimmy. Why would you do hey, this? I don't want to be in no relationship with you. I done told then you. Then why do you tell me that every night? I just every night that we lay up marriage. in your bed, you tell me that you love me. I was me. in another relationship for five years. I'm not on that. I just want to have fun. You crazy. You slashed my tie. You left me outside. I couldn't even get in my house. Mosquito bites all over me. Oh. I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I Why love do you, you. leave me I'm, on? I'm a good guy, and I love you. You know what I'm saying, for who you are, but I'm, I'm, I can't do that. I can't do that relationship thing. Really? You're around my son 24-7. He looks up to you. Really? You been good? You, oh. Really? You been good to really? me, baby. You been good to me. I, really? I apologize. I mean, I apologize. My so ass. You, you do have feelings for her. Yes, I do. But you're saying you don't want to be with her exclusively. Exactly. We've been with each other every day. Yeah, baby, but you crazy. I can't deal. I mean, you crazy. I, I can't I can't do it. You slashing my tires and stuff. I can't, what do you I can't do that. What do you expect me to do? To I love you. I'm people that love hurt you. people, they act out. I love you. I'm crazy about you in love. So what do you expect me to do when you're over here messing with this trifling at, trifling hoe? He don't want you. Girl, whatever. Yeah, he's going to be tonight. No, he won't. <laughs> While you playing. No. Whatever, know. whatever. I can assure Be you And that. I bet that, too. <laughs> okay, here's the deal. It's obvious you love him, yeah. and you want to be with him exclusively. But he's got to want to do it also, otherwise you're, you know, there's just so many tires you can slash. It, <laughs> at some point, you're going to be hurting yourself because you're chasing someone who doesn't want to return that kind of love. Well, you know, from your point of view, why don't you just say, well... This isn't the guy who's going to just be with me. Because he's telling you he's not. It's not like he's being deceptive. He's coming out front and saying, I just don't want that kind of relationship. But it's different behind closed doors. He tells me that he loves me, that he do wants you, to be with do me. Do you lead her on behind? I mean, that's fair. If you're telling her when you're with her, oh, honey, you're it, no one else, then you're lying. Nobody else can take have my a good spot. Time. We oh, all the time. Yeah. I tell her I Assume love her. Assume you have it, but you do tell her you love her. I tell her I love her. Do you ever say we're going to be married one day? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you see. I could have 
have said that. I could have said that. You could have said it, yeah. How old are you? I'm 42. You're 42, and you're? 20. Oh. <laughs> well, there's an issue. Uh... <laughs> You ain't nothing but a slut. Like, you want to ruin my man's life? You want to ruin my man's life? You want to ruin my man's life, though? Yeah. You want to ruin, uh, ruin our relationship, though? All right. But the truth is, as angry as you are at her, if it's not her, it's someone else. So, therefore, the issue with you is, at some point, you're going to have to decide he's not changing. So, is this how it's always going to be? Or maybe you should find someone who wants to love you in return? I think I will. We'll be back. If you think that was wild and crazy, then click here to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is click here. And one more thing. Take care of yourself and each other.